action tonight after Mayor Greenberg called on the Metro Council to consider whether bars should be forced to close at 2 a.m. instead of 4 a.m. The mayor made that request after Sunday's mass shooting in downtown Louisville about 3 a.m. Wave News reporter Noel Friel talked with bar owners to get their reaction. That's right, John. Today, the Highlands Commerce Guild talked about how the city is planning to crack down on violence at its monthly meeting. On the agenda is a new noise ordinance and the possibility of creating a 2 a.m. rule. But the Metro Councilman I talked with says that's not a catch-all solution. And the bar owners I spoke with don't believe it would do much to stop the violence. District 8 Metro Councilman Ben Rito Weber is open to the idea of closing the city's bars at 2 a.m., but says the issue will require a much broader solution. 100% that could be a tool for this. But when people keep trying to reduce this to 4 a.m. versus not 4 a.m., that's our violence problem. I think we're really missing the point. Earlier this month, the councilman was part of a community meeting aimed at finding solutions to the violence affecting those living close to the bars. More than 500 people attended. At that meeting, Alcoholic Beverage Control announced they would be enforcing a zero tolerance noise ordinance, which would fine bars and restaurants $2,500 for the first offense. It was really powerful to me to see at this community meeting people holding up pictures of the bullet holes in their bathroom. Right, where the shooting that, that sparked at a, a bar, then moved out into the street, impacted where people live and sleep. But Todd Moore, the owner of Taj Louisville, says he feels like the city is blaming the nightlife industry for the violence. Moore's bar is open until 4 a.m. He says many second shift workers come in during those early morning hours, and closing early would be a huge hit. I looked at the revenue just here, and we're probably talking just between 2 a.m. and uh, 4 a.m. on Fridays and Saturdays, around $3,000 a night. During the week, anywhere from three to five hundred dollars. So you're taking a huge revenue away from the bartenders. Probably I'll have to maybe downsize the staff. Instead, Moore says he'd like to see a larger police presence. He's trying to organize other local bars to speak out against the 2 a.m. closing idea. I would just welcome the city council, our metro council, and the mayor's office to have a forum, bring the bars in, and let's talk about the true numbers. Councilman Reno Weber tells me he does plan to work with bar owners to find solutions, and he wants to avoid punishing good businesses along with those that aren't following the rules. Noelle Friel, Wave News. Thanks, Noelle.